Hi, I'm Emma, a fifth grader from the Rhodes School. I know these times are tough and everyone's still getting used to distance learning, but I think we're really getting the hang of it. The Rhodes School has an amazing community of awesome teachers and students. We are all excited to see each other again, but to pass the time, we've come up with a little project. We are gonna make 1,000 paper cranes. I'm Lily Long from the Road School. So my mom is fighting this pandemic and it's sort of crazy for her. And I had this idea that we could, my, me and my classmates could fold a thousand cranes. So with this whole distance learning thing, I have a ton of time on my hands. I mean, I still have to do my schoolwork, but that doesn't take very long compared to how much time I have in the day. And so I just thought it would be really fun. I'm having my friends mail cranes and I'm making cranes. Um, and I'm just gonna string them all up on, and I'm gonna design a mobile. And then we're gonna take it to the hospital and hang it there so that all the staff and the patients have hope. We recently wrote a book about a girl named Sudan. attempted to make 1,000 paper cranes to grant her wish of becoming healthy again. Unfortunately, she only lived to make 644. However, her community continued to make the paper cranes as a symbol for her hope and courage. We make the cranes in our class with the same idea in mind, sending them to our community as support for the people who take care of our health and their patients. Hi, I'm Thea, and I'm here to tell you today about the ancient Japanese legend of 1,000 cranes. It is said that if you fold 1,000 of these origami cranes in one year, you will be granted one wish by the ancient Japanese gods. It is also said that these origami cranes are a sign of hope. So, me and my fellow peers have decided to send out a lot of these cranes to hospitals, so that way the nurses and the people that are sick can all enjoy hope and cheer and happiness. This crane project is about lifting people's spirits, especially medical workers who have a shortage of PPE, personal protective equipment. My dad is an ear doctor at the Alvarado Hospital and has to work long, tough shifts taking care of COVID patients. Hi, my name is Genevieve Feld and my dad is an ER doc at Scripps Mercy Hospital in San Diego, California. Like all the other healthcare workers, encouragement and support from their communities is huge. So please continue to do that and continue to support your friends and family to keep a positive attitude knowing that this will be a long journey and we can get through it if we do it together.